something very important. This is something that I am going to discuss only one time. So after today, please don't ask me any questions. Please, reporters, please don't DM me. Please, please, please. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't, I don't want to do this. I really, really, truly in my heart do not want to do this, but I don't have a choice. My sister is online saying that I'm lying. She did a video saying, oh, you know how she lied because I said the things that I said about Candy to protect her. She was calling me, crying on the phone, talking about a book Jermaine wrote, crying, saying Candy said she broke up the group. So I went to defend my sister and I said a whole bunch of things about Candy. And I apologize. All right? So now she wants to hold that over my head and say that I'm lying about the money that was stolen from me, my royalties that were stolen from me. And she wanted an apology. So now, I guess I'll just wait on my apology. Let me tell you something. She's not going to give an apology. And after I finish revealing what I'm about to reveal, I don't want an apology from her because I'm not vain like that. I'm not vain. I don't need an apology. I just need you to go somewhere and repent and ask God to forgive you and your husband who's out here being trifling, lying on me and my other group members, sending threat text messages from anonymous number, but then turn around and do a video and say the same thing that's in the threat text. Girl, you and your husband got to be the most simplest criminals in the world. How are you gonna send me a threat text? Let me explain with the text. I will put it up here so you guys can see it. And you know, I might even share the video where she's saying things that's in the text. So I got a threat text about me, Tiny, and Candy, all right? First of all, her husband says that I sent him naked pictures. And he says something about Tiny, and he says something about Candy that I'm not going to say, which are all lies. You see what the big the big news is, right? About you still, still in the $30,000? No, about, now the news is, uh, Tamika, my sister-in-law was sending me naked pictures, uh, Todd sucking a tranny's dick, and tiny in trouble that oh that's about to be the biggest news today so you know people you know that girl you got coming over there with security for what like you, uh, damn tasha let, I let I me ask you this real quick he's the devil he's evil a lot of stuff has happened over the years where i have protected my sister and her husband because i wanted a family i didn't want to be an outcast i didn't want them not to love me anymore so i took a lot of things not just off of them but also off my mom so I did not want to be out here without love. So of course, I let things ride. But to have that thrown back in my face, my loyalty to my family, and for you to say that I'm a liar, when y'all are around here trying to extort me, and you're sitting here threatening me, saying that I need to apologize and say I made a mistake. No, I didn't make no mistake. Ms. Diane already explained to everybody that she signed all of us up for sound exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for sound exchange. And um, I, I sent all the paperwork. And, and Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me when, she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then. Mm -hmm. and, and I still have the paperwork. And I filled it out and I put it, her address was all in New York and everything. He, Tamika, my, my Tamika had gotten her checks and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to $20,000 the first time. They got a lot of checks though. And Tamika said, I didn't get my checks. And I said, well, you should have. I said, cause Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line. And we talked to, this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away, but back then he was the person we talked to. And he talked to Tamika and she asked him questions about her checks. And he told her. Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, so said, I just he sent copies. 
he said something about your sister and Rocky. Mm -hmm. Oh, Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash the checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute them. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in, which was my sister, and I will be put showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. And I, you're going to see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they, that they had proof. They thought it was you and everything. And, but there's only reason that, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie. And you're going to see with the receipts. And yeah. if it wasn't for Miss Diane, none of us, me, Candy, my sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, we, my husband with the Tams, I signed them up and I, that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound, Sound Exchange. Thank you for, for doing that because we've all... We're still getting checks today. That's good. <laughs> Get them checks. Yes, love you. Thank you. I love you. Tasha still. I mean, I I love her. I mean, I, and I, I would never lie on none of y'all. I, I love y'all. I know. Y'all my babies. Somehow, my information was changed and sent to Sound Exchange. Now, when my sister was asked about Sound Exchange, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I'm not going to do too much, but I will clear my name. I will show you a few pieces of evidence that shows how they went in and they changed my address to their address. Wow. How they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That will give you evidence. Now, the misconception is the 30000 it wasn't one check, it was multiple checks. It wasn't just one. So I was very nice. I was being very nice to say that only 30,000 was, was stolen from me. I was very nice to say only 30,000 was taken from me, <coughs> stolen from me. Yeah. So you want your apology? How about I give them proof what you did? Just a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not trying to bury you. You just need to stop being out here say, saying these false things, you and your husband, these threats and everything else. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, one of the threats were that my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, you know, I didn't want to take it back to my house, so I gave the tape to my sister and told her to hold it. So, you know, I can watch it every now and then, you know. I just got to be honest with you. I was, I was looking good on the tape. But uh, anyway, I gave it to my sister. So I went back to get it. She said someone stole it out of her safe. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code of your safe? She said only her and her husband. But somebody stole my tape. Now I'm about to be blackmailed by them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. This is what the text says. So, you know what? You're not going to scare me. You got my tape, but you said you didn't have my tape. Now, all of a sudden, you want to extort me and put the tape out? <laughs> and you're doing a gospel album. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So, at the beginning of last year, my grandmother and my mom all were saying they wanted me and my sister to do a gospel album. So, the management at the time went and I sat down with her. And she said that Motown Records offered me and my sister a, a gospel deal, right? So my sister came up to my house March of last year. Came up, spent the night, got snowed in, we were singing, we were cooking, having a good time. But it was a scratch in the record when I told her that we need to split everything down the middle. We need to write everything, we need to create everything together. And all of a sudden she was, she was outraged. She was like, well, this is what I do. I do music. I do music. You can do screenplays and you can write plays and movies, but I'm the singer in the family. So me and my husband was looking like, what just happened here? We're sitting here talking about a, a deal, a gospel deal.
for us, and she just went bananas. I'm the singer. I'm this. I write. I do this. So in uh, between all that eyes, I was tired from cooking and cleaning. I fell asleep on her butt. But when I fell asleep, my husband said she kept talking. He walked out. She was just mad. So when she left my house, she never mentioned it again. And now she posted receipts on her thing saying that Rocky got us the deal. But if you look real, real close to the paperwork, like I did, I screenshot it and read it. It says, dear whatever the guy name was. She was asking questions. She said, she said, uh, what was his name? The manager, Rocky, and I. So the and I was not Rocky. It was the lady who sat down with us and told us who she got us the deal. Our old management. <laughs> so how did Rocky get us a deal? I was just so sick and tired of her praising him like he's God. It's like she want him to be this big, okay, so we could stay focused, stay focused. But he did not get us the deal. I'm sure he, he was the one that talked her out of it, or both of them, because it's how you steal my money and steal our gospel deal. Damn. Oh, and it gets, y'all, it gets better. <laughs> Check this out. So I have people calling me, sending me. I'm in church. This is the crazy thing about it. I'm in church, and I got a text. And somebody said, what's going on with this? So evidently, if you go on your cable network and you look up uh, a show, Underneath the show will tell you who the actors are or who the people are that's on the show. Someone has went and replaced my pictures with my sister. So not only did you steal money and our gospel album that we told grandma that we were going to do, but now if you all go look, now me, my image is gone and is replaced with her pictures. Yeah, it's just a lot of cricket stuff that has happened. And it's some, something about Todd, he said in the text. But it's crazy because things that were in that threat text, when my sister did her interview on her bus, dogging everybody out, talking about candy, talking about I lied, certain things that were in that threatened text was in what she said. Mm -hmm. Wow. They mentioned a tattoo that only she knew about. This they mentioned the sex tape that mysteriously disappeared. 101. They mentioned pictures that was never sent to him when he cracked my door phone by saying he was my ex-husband. They are evil, evil people, but I'm not gonna allow you to keep sitting out here and giving false narrative about me. I've, I've had your back. I was stupid. I did things and you throw it in my face and you wanna do a video and say, oh, you know how she is. I, 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 I owned up to that when I was wrong. I apologize. This time, I'm not wrong. The evidence is here. I just got my Thrive Market delivery and mm. the convenience. Mm. 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 She not lying. The girl is not lying. I'm not talking about this anymore after this. Now the world knows that you are a liar. You don't have to talk about it no more. a gospel album. A gospel album. Stealing from the church, stealing from your sister, stealing my identity. Uh, but what you won't do is steal my pride. Go ahead. Leak the tape that you said you lost. Uh, Go ahead. Embarrass your niece. Go ahead. Because you really don't care nothing about them because you wouldn't never stole from them in the beginning. Go ahead. And watch what God does. God don't play about me. I don't hurt nobody. I don't do nothing. And the thing I did about Candy, I was in my late 20s. We're almost 50 years old. And you still holding that over my head. But I'm glad that she forgave me. But I forgive you. As I did before. Never meant to mention it. I was just pushed in the corner. Because you tried to destroy me in that first scene. But hey, it's life. And like you said, we're sisters, but not by choice. Are so powerful, and I'm starting to listen. It's the difference between hearing and listening, and I'm listening. Well, I love you, but what you won't do is make me look like a liar. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, I don't blame I've you. I've grown from my mistakes. Time to stand up. And I've learned. Stand up. And I'm not letting nobody put nothing over my head of my past. Who do you, ma'am? Don't have to apologize to me. Go apologize to God. 
and apologize to my nephew and apologize to my children. God bless you, girl. Repent. Because one day you're going to see God and you're going to have to give account for everything that you're doing. Oh, you know the gospel. That's right. You, you know this. <laughs> And I hate this. This is so petty. It's so uh, childish, but it's so necessary. Yeah. Keep my name out your mouth. God bless you, sis. And world, I will give you an apology because this right here is so is so dumb. This is probably like ten minutes of your life that you can't get back because of some childish sister stuff that's going on by my sister and I. So I apologize to you for this mess. This is not the life that we're supposed to show. We're supposed to show a life of forgiveness, a life of love. God did not give us this platform for this. And I apologize for us misusing this platform. And I will not talk about this ever again. Pray for us. I love you. Thank you for your support. And again, to my fans. I apologize for this buffoonery that we've taken you through. It stops here. I have nothing else to say now. I've given you the proof. So now you know who's lying and who's right. Now, back to the real world. Back to who we are now. Back to us. So, Ooh. we have, what, two more episodes left? And if y'all don't know, you better ask somebody. I'm just observing that Rocky dude, and what I see with him is he's a straight narcissist, and yes, he is a bully. Tamika, uh, Tasha, Latasha is scared of him, and I see the same look. Is the same look that Beyonce. Uh, or Jay-Z gave Beyonce when they were at some award show. And he looked at her. And in that look, see, I'm old enough to read people. Real, real good. And when I saw him look at her like that, I said, oh, she shouldn't marry him. He, this dude is controlling her. And sure enough, if y'all don't think she controlled Y'all just don't understand. See, and here's a lot of crazy stuff that you got to understand about uh, black women. When they haven't been raised by a strong man, um, or haven't been, I wouldn't even say a strong man, haven't been taught to defend themselves. Then they open themselves up to all kinds of crazy dudes. Dudes that come by one day and move into your house and you can't get them out. Uh, that kind of madness that happens where people would just look at it and say, is that for real? Yes, it's for real. There are some women who don't know how to say no or the guy has already threatened them um, and used his physical power over her. During one of these relationships. Actually I feel sorry for Latasha. Because. You know. You got to be brainwashed. If you would allow somebody to. Do that. To your sister. And for y'all to. Take her money. Not have any remorse about it. You got the nerve to ask her for an apology. After you know. You know. They got the receipts. Now that's. That's really sad. And it's really pathetic. And I can say one thing. I saw you on Cocktails with Queens. But I wouldn't support you. And with your album. And until you make it right with your sister, there's really nothing you can lead me to but to the slaughter of hypocrisy. 
And it's a, too much of that going on. And why y'all situation is like it is in the first place. Uh, so, you know, uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Now, YouTube is going to take a while to uh, okay this video. And I know they are. Uh, because they go through so many changes. And man, I make a video loaded up. It don't come out to two or three days later. So then at that point, it's a little outdated. But nevertheless, I had to get this off my chest. Because I see so much of Tamika in, in us. I see it. And the common thread is abuse. Ooh. All right. Like what you hear, subscribe and share.